Hi, I'm Ellie, and this is your weekly theatre news recap, the show where I take all of the UK tour and West End news and I give it to you in the best way that I can, which is good enough. <laughs> We've got a lot of really big shows announced in the casting this week. We've got loads of new productions. This has been a pretty big news week. Uh, so there may have been a couple of things that have stooped under the radar a little bit. So let me guide you through it. But if you want to stay up to date with UK tour and West End theatre, make sure you hit subscribe because we do these recaps every single week and they slowly get more and more chaotic. Anyway, Bonnie and Clyde. The Bonnie and Clyde cast was one of the first things to be announced this week. And it is, uh, interesting. I think a lot of people, uh, were expecting a more West End style cast to the tour. I think people were kind of expecting Luke Jordan... Luke Jordan... Jordan Luke Gage. Sorry, this is what my brain is doing today. <laughs> uh, we're expecting Jordan Luke Gage and Francis Mayla McCann to come back. Uh, and what we've got is a very... I'll be honest, weird mix of names and, uh, you know, the more typical West End casting that you would see in a tour. Instead of casting one role as, like, the stunt cast, they have kind of doubled up almost every role. Uh, so you've got to kind of work out who is performing when. But let's walk through this. First of all... Catherine Tilsty will be making her musical theatre debut in the role of Blanche Barrow. Uh, she is known from Coronation Street and Strictly Come Dancing. Uh, this role will be shared uh, with Hollyoaks actor Daisy Wood Davis. Danny Hatchett is making his musical theatre debut as well, alongside the star of Heathers and Newsies, Alex James Hatton, and they will be sharing the role of Clyde. Katie Tomkinson will be playing Bonnie Parker throughout the tour. Right now, Bonnie doesn't have an alternative uh, person attached. So when you go and see the tour, you're probably going to be seeing Katie Tomkinson. Uh, Sam Faraday will be playing Buck. And Jazz Ellington will be playing The Preacher. And Nate Landskroner will be the alternate Clyde for the tour. We have some new venues announced for the tour as well, including Manchester, Sunderland, Bath, Bradford, Birmingham, Portsmouth, Brighton, High Wycombe, Newcastle, Sheffield, Bromley, and Northampton. So, there you go. Um, I'm not mad at this cast. I think there's a, a nice balance. Uh, but, I don't know, it, I don't think it was what I and a lot of other people were expecting from it. But, it is a more typical tour cast. Next up... Diana. Diana, the the musical that everyone loved to hate, uh, getting its concert in the UK in December, has announced some more cast for it, and it is camp. Alice Fern is playing Camilla. Andy Coxon will be playing Prince Charles. Jay Perry will be playing James Hewitt. And Alina Maharaj will be playing Sarah Spencer. I really need to get a ticket for this. I, I need to. I don't often do the concerts because I'm poor, but I have to. I I mean, I have to. <laughs> now, this one's going to be a little bit longer because we've got a lot to break down here. We've got a lot to break down in regards to this because we got the full cast for the Stranger Things play. Stranger Things First Shadow is opening at the Phoenix. I'm pretty sure it opens in November. Uh, and it's got, uh, like, a pretty long preview period. And this is going to be a direct prequel to the TV show, and is going to link very heavily into the story for season five. Now, this cast features a lot of names that we will recognise from the show, uh, and a lot of characters who are related to the characters that we know. So... Thankfully, What's On Stage did a really great article where they kind of broke down everyone and where they may link into the TV show. So I'm going to use this to help you uh, have that as well. And I'll also link the amazing article down below. So, let's start with Chief Hopper, who we are going to assume is a relation to the Hopper that we know from the TV show, played by David Harbour. This is likely his dad. Uh, and in this version, he'll be played by Shane Atwool. 
Uh, Kemi Awudri will be playing Sue Anderson, who is likely to grow up to be Lucas and Erica Sinclair's mother. Chase Brown is playing Lonnie Byers, who we do know from the TV show is the ex-husband of Joyce. Uh, Christopher Buckley will be playing Bob Newby, who uh, is a character from season two. Uh, Amar Duffis will be playing Charles Sinclair, later who will go on to become the father of Lucas and Erica. Giles Geardry will be playing Ted Wheeler, later the father of Mike and Nancy. Uh, alongside Florence Guy, who will be playing Karen, later will go on, as we can assume, to be the mother of Mike and Nancy. Max Harwood, who you may know from the Everybody Talking About Jamie film, is playing Alan Munson, who is likely to have some relation to the season four character Eddie Munson, played by Joseph Quinn. Michael Gibson will be playing Victor Creel. Uh, Victor Creel is a big part of season four of the TV show. Uh, he is the father of Henry Creel, who we know, uh, and spoilers, uh, I probably should have topped this all off with spoilers for season four if you haven't seen it yet. Uh, is the father of Henry Creel, who goes on to become number one and the main antagonist of season four, Fechner. Oscar Lloyd is playing James Hopper Jr. This is the Hopper that we know from the TV show, David Harbour's character. Lewis McCartney is playing the Henry Creel, Vecner. Isabella Pappas will be playing Joyce, who goes on to become the mother of Will and Jonathan Byers. Uh, Iconically played by Winona Ryder. Matthew Pigeon will be playing Father Newby. We can likely assume that this is the father of Bob Newby. Uh, Callum Ross will be playing Walter Henderson alongside Maisie Norma Seaton, who is playing Claudia Henderson. These, these two are most certainly the parents of Dustin Henderson from the TV show. Patrick Vale will be playing Dr. Brenner, the... Uh, Doctor who has a massive presence in Eleven story and a pretty big presence in the story of Number One and Vecna as well. Uh, he is played by Matthew Modine in the TV show. And honestly, what great casting. Patrick Vale is going to do that so well. Lauren Ward, who was the uh, person who played Cynthia Murphy in Dear Evan Hansen, uh, original UK cast. Uh, she will be playing Virginia Creel, who is the wife of Victor Creel and mother of Henry. Ella Karina Williams will be playing Patty Newby. Uh, this says that, uh, who is likely related to Bob Newby in some way. However, I'm actually going to add to this uh, article because a lot of the, like, synopsis that we got from this play was hinting at something happening between Henry Creel and Bob Newby's sister. We can likely assume that Patty is the sister of uh, Bob Newby, and maybe something's going to happen. We don't actually see her in the TV show, so maybe something bad is going to happen to Patty Newby. We also have some more cast members, some ensemble cast members, who will be in the description and also in that Watson awesome Stage article that I will share. But I am so excited for this show. It, I am a massive Stranger Things fan. I'm hoping that it's going to be you know, a really strong show that links into the TV show really well. It's got a lot on its shoulders, and it's got a lot to live up to. So, fingers crossed, let's hope. Okay, and finally, because all of the casting news this week was just massive, we also got the full cast for the Hamilton UK tour. This cast... This cast... Shaq Taylor will be playing Alexander Hamilton. Sam Olodunke will be playing Aaron Burr. Gabriella Benedetti will be playing Peggy Schuyler and Maria Reynolds. K.M. Drew Botang will be playing Hercules Mulligan and James Madison. Daniel Boys will be playing King George. Maya Brito will be playing Eliza Hamilton. Aisha Joando will be playing Angelica Schuyler. D'Angelo Jones will be playing Lawrence and Philip Hamilton. Billy Nevers will be playing Lafayette and Thomas Jefferson, and Charles Simmons will be playing George Washington. We also have our ensemble, who will be in the description down below, as always. I can't wait. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to be able to go see the Tour of Hamilton, but I need to go see the Tour of Hamilton because of that cast. I'm most excited for Billy Nevers. Genius. Genius. Shaq Taylor as well. I'm ready. 
Give it to me. Inject it into my veins. I am ready. I am ready. And now let's talk about some uh, miscellaneous news from the week, some extensions, some closures, and some very interesting uh, cinema releases. So first of all, we've got the official announcement of the Guys and Dolls cast album, which is coming out next week. September 29th, the cast recording will be available digitally. Go listen to it. <laughs> as well as this, we've got the announcement that Spring Awakening, which was at the Almeida back in like 2021, uh, this version is actually going to be shown in cinemas. We, I think we kind of knew that this version had been filmed. I think they showed it off in a museum. I can't, don't ask me to tell you which museum, but a museum in London was showing a lot of different musicals and the footage from this version of Spring Awakening was shown. I, I'm really excited for this. I thought this production was really interesting. I thought it did a lot of really different things. And I think the fact that we get to share it around is really exciting. As well as this, we got an extension for Tina, the Tina Turner musical. This will now be booking until the 14th of September 2024. So you've got a whole nother year to go and see Tina. We also got yet another extension to Operation Mincemeat. Now uh, being at the Fortune through to the 21st of April 2024. And now let's move on to transfers, new productions and new dates and things. Yes. <laughs> First up, the Aladdin UK tour has announced some more dates. This is opening in October in Edinburgh and is going to Cardiff, Plymouth, Sunderland and Milton Keynes. And they've also announced that it will also be going to Manchester, Bristol, Bradford, uh, Southampton, Birmingham, uh, Glasgow and Liverpool. And that brings us up to the end of the year. Very exciting. Very exciting. Extremely exciting, some may say. And that's, <laughs> that's the story <laughs> in Balamori. We also got the announcement on Sunday uh, at the Schwartz at 75 concert that The Baker's Wife is going to be getting a London revival. This will be happening at the Many A Chocolate Factory. Uh, it's been hinted that it's going to be happening uh, July to September 2024. This is really cool. This is it's a musical that isn't put on as much. Um, but you know what? I love a Schwartz show coming to the UK. We also got the announcement of the return of A Chorus Line. Uh, the uh, absolutely iconic musical. I don't need to tell you what A Chorus Line is. Surely not. Um, but Curve Lester has announced the return of their production. And just like they did with 42nd Street, this is going to be joint with Sadler's Wells. It's actually got a very similar plan to what happened with 42nd Street this year, that it's going to start at the Leicester Curve uh, uh, from the 28th of June to the 13th of July, and then it's going to go to Sadler's Wells in London from the 31st of July to the 25th of August 2024. And then after that, it's going to go on a UK tour. Uh, this will be going to Salford, Norwich, Canterbury, Birmingham, uh, Cardiff, Edinburgh, Wickham, and that's it. That's my list. <laughs> as well as this, we also got an announcement of a Cold War stage adaptation. This is going to be a musical, uh, which is going to be held by uh, Almeida Artistic Director Rupert Gold at the Almeida from the 30th of November to Saturday the 27th of January. Uh, this is going to have music by uh, Grammy Award winner Elvis Costello and is based on the award-nominated Cold War film. Very slight. Uh, I don't know much about this film, I'm going to be perfectly honest, so I can't really say if it's well-suited to be a musical, but uh, the Amida has like been putting out like consistent, really strong musicals like going from Secret Life of Bees, Tammy Face, their revival of Spring Awakening. They have been going from strength to strength in musical theatre. So you know what? I trust them. I trust them. And finally, the biggest news story of the week, the thing that all made us, well, we all knew it was coming, but I didn't realise it was going to be announced this soon. Starlight Express is coming back to the UK, baby. It's coming back for you. 
It's going to be done with a little bit of a twist. They are going to the Trobidor Wembley Park Theatre, which was recently home to Newsies and will be very uh, purpose built for Starlight Express. It's going to have a very immersive style to it, uh, similar to Newsies. We can probably expect some elements from the Germany production to come over. I mean, the production in Germany has the seats moving around, they're all skating everywhere, all over the theatre. I think if we're going to see anything like that, we should be getting very excited for this revival. And if you weren't already excited, all you need to do is look at the team who are producing it and the creatives. Luke Shepard, director of Little Big Things, and Anne Juliet is directing. Tim Hatley, who did the sets for Back to the Future, is designing the sets. Gabrielle Slade from Six is doing the costumes, which is perfect. I mean, if you look at the Six costumes and you look at Starlight Express, you can see the connection. Uh, Arlene Felix is going to be a part of the creative team, uh, as well as lighting designer Howard Hudson, who worked on Anne Juliet, sound designer Gareth Owen, who worked on MJ, uh, new choreography by Ashley Nottingham, and video designer Andre Goulding, who worked on Life of Pi. Like, all of these people have done incredible work. Like, really incredible work. And I think pushing them all together is going to be phenomenal. Like, all of these creatives are... It feels like these are, like, the most perfect people to do Starlight Express. Like, if I was going to trust anyone, it's this creative team. There are so many wonderful names here, people I massively trust. I'm ready. I am ready. This is going to be opening at some point. I have the date somewhere. No, I don't. Apparently, I don't. Um, <laughs> put it on screen now. The, the, the date that Star Express is next year. I think it's next summer it's opening. But yes, it's on screen right now. So what are you most excited for? What uh, news story has got you the most hype? This has been a massive week. This is probably a giant video. Uh, I'm most excited for Stranger Things and Starlight Express as well. Uh, I don't know much about the musical, but that creative team would get me to see anything. Uh, so I'm ready. If you did enjoy this video, please consider hitting like and subscribe. It really helps me out, it helps that channel. Here's some links to some other videos on screen right now and a link to my Instagram if you want to drop me a follow over there. But that's it for me today, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!